It is 2023 and the summer golf season has just ended and we have not done what's inside the golf bag for Lincoln. If you don't know, Lincoln has been golfing for a few years and the summertime for juniors is just insane. For the last three months, we've been home for maybe a week. So we're finally home. We have these two boxes with some brand new golf bags that just launched today from our friends at Asher that they very nicely sent this to us to give away to you guys. So we will open that up later on in the video and then figure out a way to give away these bags to you just by in the comments or something. So, all right, Lincoln, let's get into it. Let's talk about your bag. Yeah. One of the first things that I wanna mention is this is not your bag you use this summer, right? Not usually, no. This is my high school bag and we just got new ones because high school started last week. So this will be the bag I'll use over the next like couple months as I play high school golf. And there's one error on this bag. Yeah, they sent it to us as my last name spelling Marham, when actually it's Mark, Mark with a K, Ham, <laughs> which is fine. There's been three things that have been misspelled over the last week. The other one is, let me look at it real quick, I'll just see. Mar, <laughs> M-A-R-K-A-M, so Markham, Markham. This one has the H, no K, the other one has the K, no H. And then he was in a tournament this last week at a course called Green Springs and it said Marchum. M-A-R-C-H-U-M. So apparently, Markham is a really hard name to spell in the golf world. Let's get to the golf clubs okay. and... We can just start with wedges. Um, so my wedges that I'm playing right now are Ping Pro Glides, 58 degree, 54 degree, and 50 degree. They're great, a little worn down, but they get the job done right now. Okay. Like wedges are such a big field thing. I don't really want to change it out mid season. So maybe at the end of high school season, I might switch into the some tailor-made wedges. So my irons, we went to the kingdom. I got fit for P7 MCs from pitching wedge to five iron. And I really love these clubs. I've been playing a lot better when I after I got them. And a shout out to Trotty on those irons yeah. for fitting they Lincoln did, did for it. You did such a great Way job, better. Trotty. You're the man, TaylorMade. Good job at making good clubs. We've been using TaylorMade for years. And it's fun to see Lincoln with a set that's basically set up just for him. He's really struck him well. And my four iron, my four iron is a P770, so it just makes it a little easier to hit instead of the P7 MCs. And this is great, love this club. And then moving into woods, this is my five wood with a nice random golf club head cover. This is my five wood. Um, it's been great. It's great on especially some of the courses I do play here in Utah. Most of the courses I play are really soft, so that's why I would want a five, a five wood. But I, I have been thinking about getting a three iron for some of like the firmer courses I play. And I, for how well I hit my four iron, I think a three iron might be good. So would you get rid of the five wood and just replace it with a three iron? Yeah, yeah, because that'd be too many clubs to have both, so. My three wood and five wood are both stealth twos. My three wood is a 15 degree loft and my five wood is 18 degrees. They've been great, both of them. Stealth twos, money. And my driver is also stealth two. This is actually a custom one. It's nine degrees of loft. It's actually got a blue face, which I love because it matches the shaft really, really well. And love this driver. It's great. It's you usually don't see one. blue. You always see red. Yeah, and every, I, every turn I play and I swear somebody comes up to me and it's like, is that really a blue stealth? How did you do that? I didn't know you could customize those. And I'm like, yeah, you can. And you do lots of colors. It's great. Usually with every one of the drivers that TaylorMade does, they have a website. It's usually up for the first like eight months or so. It's like, used to be called my sim is it still my sim no it was my sim then it's called my stealth or whatever whatever the latest name of the club is you can go on there and customize a bunch of different colors on there i always have two alignment sticks always a towel um i guess next would be putters i got this putter last week so i've only been putting with it for a few days but it's been good so far um don't know how long i'll keep it in the bag but for now i love it it's a it's an old terrillium it's from like 1997 i think pretty old putter but it's felt really really good so far and over the last couple of days i've used it played in a tournament putted pretty pretty well in the tournament so i think i'll keep it at least for a couple more weeks see how we feel i love that metal on the front of it with like the gold yeah and then the, the white really dots good. on the back with the black putter it's good looking this is my putter i've used Used the most out of the last, I've had it for maybe two and a half years. I've used it for all but maybe three months out of the last two, three, two or three years. It's a Newport 2. Some of it's kind of falling apart, as you can tell. This used to be three blue dots, but now we're just down to one. And then we got, this used to be blue on the circle T part right here, which is fine because I'm using this putter every day. I'm not just trying to like sell it or showcase it. So this putter is great. And then the other one is a 009. 
Scotty Cameron, which I got from December and played it till about March or April. And this is a beautiful putter. This is the same thing Jordan Spieth has. It's very, very similar, carbon steel. And this is a good putter. I just, I don't know. I like the feel of those other two a little bit more, so. Um, always have a glove. Range finder, I lose way too many of these. I need to get like an air tag or throw it on this or something, but I'm always leaving this on carts. Usually if I am gonna play in the tournament, I'm gonna have probably six or seven golf balls right now. We're down to the five, lost a couple of the water today. That'll happen. They're all pretty scuffed up, but I play Pro V1Xs. Why did you switch from Pro V1s to Pro V1Xs? Uh, I wasn't spinning the ball enough, with, especially with my irons. My past irons, I really was not spinning the ball enough, and I like the, kind of the softer feel of the Pro V1Xs, so. Been using that for a while. Um, always got a bunch of tees. Tees are just a must. If I if I'm playing a good golf course, I'm gonna grab many many handfuls of tees. I love tees, <laughs> and gotta play some some new course to get some better tees. But have you ever gotten in trouble for taking so many tees on the tee box? I haven't. That's no, good. just some funny looks, especially in tournaments. But. <laughs> I always got a water bottle. It's hot where I live. It's like 100 and 110 degrees maybe right now. And especially walking in high school this time of year, gotta have a water bottle. And yes, that's the 22 ounce. What's inside water bottle. You can check it out at whatsinsidemerch.com. Shameless plug. All of these boxes right here are the water bottles. I think these are the 32 ounces, but we do still have water bottles. If you want one inside of your golf bag, we would definitely recommend the 22 ounce like Lincoln uses. Yeah, it's mine, keeps it cold all day. And let's see what's in this pocket. Lip gloss, like my lips get really dry on the golf course. I have a golf ball liner. I have some headache pills, which I get lots on, my head, on the golf course, especially if I'm hitting it bad. <laughs> I got a pencil. Of course, gotta have a pencil for scorecards. This golf ball liner, you gotta have a Sharpie with that. So if you do wanna line up your ball, which right now I'm not, I rarely line up my golf ball, but most people do, I probably should. But I just like the feel of it not having a line, but. Golf ball liner, it's a must if I if I do need it. And then four silver leaf ball markers, really co cool course in Arizona, place is really pure. So those are nice, those are really high quality. John Rahm's home Nothing course. Wrong. And then, <laughs> yeah, nothing wrong with quarters or anything, but I just like the look of those a little bit more. And we have a very, very beat up air tag. This has been in my bag for Maybe like a year or two now. It's so gotta important. have it when you're traveling. I mean, like these golf clubs are really honestly priceless and it would suck to lose them. And it's nice to have the air tag in them. It makes me feel a lot more comfortable when I do land, check my phone, see the see the bag made it safely. <laughs> yes. That's pretty much it. Not too much going on. Usually I would have like a couple of putting, putting like tools and plates in my bag, but I just played a tournament yesterday. So I have put them back in my bag. Asher gloves, that's the gloves I use during the whole summer. They're great, so they send us a couple, which is great. Thank you so much, Ash. They're really cool. They're a Utah company, yeah. and their gloves are crazy, crazy comfortable. They're really nice. Well, I have to say, Lincoln Marham's bag, yep. now we know definitely what's this, inside this of there. This is last year's bag. They spelled this one right. Oh. Lincoln Marham. There we go. So that's, that's a proper way. But, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so now let's get into the Asher bags, the giveaway bags for our viewers. Right yeah. now, it's Asher's brand new bags. Why don't you break those out, Lincoln? There is the new Asher bag. I mean, really nice. You got a spot right here to store your things. Magnets, magnets are a must. On my, on my bag that I usually use during the season, having a magnet for tees and ball markers in here is really, really nice. This has the backpack straps, I call them. It's basically over both shoulders, but you can get really cool ones that Asher sells that's just one strap over your shoulder if you don't want the backpack style. Then also this bag is less than five pounds, so it's light enough for you to carry, and then you can stand it up. It has the stand on there. So it's a stand bag, there you go. Yep. And then Lincoln, let's get the other one out. Oh yeah, that's good looking. That's really Leather good Leather is really nice on these, and they still are, very, like they're light enough to carry. So I've done a lot of research on bags, but these bags are really good, especially if you're riding in a cart too. Like you can just tell like they're really, really sturdy, especially right here. So if you do ride in a cart, your, your clubs aren't gonna get like squished and it's like easier to take out, you know, so. The blue one is for the giveaway for you guys, for one of you. The black one was meant for Lincoln, Thinking but. I have to put that one in play. After high school season, that might be, that might be the back one. Okay. All right, we're gonna keep the black one. This is Lincoln's bag. After Lincoln Marham is gone. Yeah, it's crazy. Marham, I can't remember because there's so many misspellings the last week. Yeah. But after that without, definitely the Asher bag. So if you want the bag, we are going to do a post on our Instagram with this bag. Go to the Instagram, give us a comment of the best score you've ever shot in your life and where it was. What golf course and where it was. 
I'm not gonna give it away just because you shot the lowest score or the highest score. We are going to randomly pick one of you that's on there. We'll pin your name on the top of the comments on Instagram, and then uh, we will put this back into the Asher box and we will mail it to you very, very quickly. So yeah. that's what's inside of Lincoln's bag 2023. It'll be interesting to see one year from now when he's, this is his senior year of high school. One year from now, he'll be done with high school, done with his last ever junior golf season. And we'll see what kind of changes he's made to his bag in 2024. So yeah. that's it. All right. Good job, Link. You uh, played great this year. And thank you to, thanks to oh, Asher. yeah, thanks to Asher. And also thanks to Team TaylorMade for hooking Lincoln up with these clubs. Oh yeah. They were clutch. Pure.